When planning for the project, we took a decision that we would want to design and develop an airport that we would be able to operate on a net zero emissions uh, basis. So carbon neutral, water neutral and uh, waste neutral once the airport becomes uh, operational. We're looking forward to realizing this vision um, of a green, of a net zero emissions airport um, after we take the airport operational in 2024. For us there are uh, two components, or two components to, to decarbonizing airport operations in the way we approach uh, energy. Uh, on the one hand, of course, there's a whole host of passive measures um, that have gone into the airport design, usage, the thermal design for usage of uh, natural light. Of Our approach to energy is uh, the use of, of green electricity and, and green power. We've uh, dedicated around 30 hectares uh, of the site um, for a uh, solar farm for the production of, uh, of solar energy. So again, there's, there's multiple aspects uh, to it. There's the infrastructure development, there's the, uh, the passenger uh, traffic and, and transport that, that we expect to facilitate. And in addition to that, there's the, the whole cargo and logistics space. So we've, we're stewards of the planet and, and not owners of the planet and want to leave it and, and hand it over in, in the best possible condition. I have two children and uh, I, I want to leave uh, the planet or help uh, leave uh, the planet uh, for them in, in good condition. We do believe growth is possible uh, sustainably. What makes me a green Yoda for uh, the, uh, the planet? We've been very deliberately from day one uh, infusing the ideas and the concepts of sustainability in airport design, in airport development. I think that's uh, something we're, we're very proud of.